Michael Burrell is also calling for the police commissioner to carry out a thorough investigation into the incident. He claimed that his sons were not accomplices in the shootout with the police. Mr. Burrell said his son, 31-year-old Kevron Burrell, was killed by the police who thought his vehicle was the getaway car with the suspended cops. His other son remains in hospital in serious condition. Mr. Burrell explained that he and members of his family were driving in separate vehicles to awake in Linstead when the getaway vehicle with the three policemen aboard crashed into his son's car. Mr. Burrell said he was driving ahead of his son's vehicle when the crash occurred. He said he turned back to assist his two sons and other family members who were in the vehicle. The policeman go to the car where they are run down because apparently, as they, as they say, wrong judgment. In, in the go the car, that everybody in the car lock out. I'm conscious. Four persons was in the car. His girlfriend and my two sons. The two of them are conscious. And the policeman go by him and give him three shots. Look at him right, look on him right hand side. The shoot out and the car chasing come from Dublin. And we come in from Kingston. How him get two shots in him right hand? Mr. Burrell gave details on what happened at the scene. But when we look now, we go out some police. I put me back. I see them I take out the girl out of the, uh, out of the car front. Carry her go across the street or to the gas station to go put her in a stop. When we look now, by the time I go up and I say, officer, I want to do to my picnic. Move from here, sir. Move from here, sir. We are talking about. We are talking about. Yeah. Shoot boy, I'm, 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 I'm boy, I lick some shot after me. Um, I shoot one in shot again. I'm boy, I lick about five. Me I say, boy, I lick five shot at you. In a, this, this car, this car I come from Joe Blaine. Jenny Williams, Frontline News.